Today's ceremony honors OS1 Peter Martinez as he retires after 21 years of service to our nation. Commander Michael Rudy, commanding officer of Maritime Port Protection Unit Banger, will preside over today's ceremony. Victor Primo, commander, U.S. Coast Guard, retired, will give the invocation and benediction during the ceremony. Now, please rise for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the pledge of allegiance and the invocation. Now, operational, operation specialist, first class, the right. Now, Commander, U.S. Coast Guard, MFPU, Banger, the right. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Post one, Peter Martinez has served our country for 21 years. And here's a brief synopsis of the duty stations that brought him here today. From 1979 to 1980, he attended boot camp at Training Center in Alameda, California. Followed by Quartermaster A School and Signalman A School at Naval Training Center in Orlando, Florida. Following these schools, he was sent to Ketchikan, Alaska to serve on board the Coast Guard Cutter Laurel. In 1982, he was transferred to the Cutter Polar Sea, or I'm sorry, Polar Star in Seattle, Washington. Then in June of 1984, he went back to Alaska to serve in the District 17 Search and Rescue Center in Juneau. A year later, he moved across the country to New York and Governor's Island, where he was an operator for the Vessel Traffic Service. Following this tour, Pedestro Martinez left, left active duty to work in the civilian sector for about 10 years. However, he remained in the Coast Guard Reserve, performing his drills with activities in New York. Then in July of 1998, he returned to active duty and was once again assigned to Vessel Traffic Service New York on Staten Island. Five years later, he moved back across the country to Seattle to serve at the Vessel Traffic Service in Puget Sound and in the Waterways Management Division in Sector Seattle. Finally, in June of 2008, he reported here to Maritime Force Protection Unit Banker. Quite a story for you there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce the presiding official for today's ceremony, Commander Michael Brody, Commanding Officer of Maritime Force Protection Unit Bank. Well, good morning. I thank all of you for being here to share the honor of recognizing Petty Officer Martinez on the occasion of his retirement after more than 20 years of service to his country. Occasion reflective of our more than 200 years of customs and traditions that define who we are as a military service. Petty Officer Martinez, I use this opportunity to personally thank you for your service to our great nation, the Coast Guard, and the Maritime Force Protection Unit Bank. I wish you and your family the very best in the future. At this time, I would ask that you please stand with me so we can more formally recognize you. Citation to accompany the award of the Coast Guard Achievement Medal, Gold Star, in lieu of a second, Peter M. Martinez, Operations Specialist, First Class. But Officer Martinez is cited for superior performance of duty while serving at Maritime Force Protection Unit Bangor from July 2008 through June 2010. As the unit's first personnel security clerk, he worked tirelessly to develop the administrative processes and procedures required of the new security program. In addition to managing clearances for over 110 personnel, including those assigned to Coast Guard Cutter Sea Devil and Sea Fox, he updated all the unit security briefings, conducted initial training, and created an electronic tracking system to manage individual clearance requirements. Further, as a direct result of his improvements to the unit security program, MFP Banger excelled in its biannual security manager evaluation, receiving high praise for its diligence, oversight, and administration of the unit's personnel security program. Pity Officer Martinez's diligence, perseverance, and devotion to duty are most highly commended and are in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Coast Guard. Signed, Michael A. Rudy, Commander, U.S. Coast Guard, Commanding Officer, and Commanding Officer. Nancy, would you please join Commander Rudy and your husband at the podium? Certificate of Appreciation from the United States Coast Guard to all who shall see these presents greetings. Nancy Martinez has earned grateful appreciation for her unselfish, faithful, and devoted service during her husband's Coast Guard career. Her unfailing support and understanding helped to make possible her husband's lasting contribution to the nation. 
given this third day of June 2010. Admiral Pat, comment, please go. This is for you. I know you haven't been with the, uh, the coast for a long when you married me, and uh, you probably didn't realize what it's like to lose and stuff like that, but uh, I appreciate that you're always standing behind me when I was doing my job. Commander Brody will now present his certificate of retirement. <laughs> certificate of retirement from the Armed Forces of the United States of America. To all who shall see these presents, greetings. This is to certify that Operation Specialist First Class Peter N. Martinez, having been retired after honorable service in the United States Coast Guard, is awarded this testimonial as an acknowledgment of duty faithfully performed during a period of over 21 years. Done in Bangor, Washington, this third day of June in the year 2010. Robert J. Papp, Jr., Admiral U.S. Coast Guard, Tom. I, I just want to say, if, if you will. Nope. <laughs> well, as you all can hear me, I just want to say a couple of words when I joined the Coast Guard in 1979, it was a totally different organization. And uh, between 1979 and uh, I guess 2010, we've really uh, changed a lot and for the better. I remember when I was on the Polar Star and I saw the first uh, female from the academy coming on board, uh, Ensign Sandy Stowe's, and now I'm looking at her and uh, she's a rear admiral right now in headquarters. So I kind of think the Coast Guard is really much better uh, Forward with the way they're starting to include people from from uh, various backgrounds and uh, sources, and I'm at this unit now, and uh, I think it was an honor to work with you all. And uh, I always had a philosophy that if I could somehow, in the, my capacity, make your job easier when you're out doing your mission, then I uh, then I then I succeeded. So uh, thank you very much for allowing me to work for you all. Retirement flag picture of career achievements in the United States Coast Guard. Will the guests please rise for the benediction and departure of the official party? Gracious God, now that we have felt and acknowledged the presence of your mighty spirit in the military career of OS1 Pete Martinez and enjoyed this time bidding fair winds and following seas to our shipmate of the highest integrity, we ask that you will guide Pete and Nancy as their quartermaster in chief to many fulfilling and exciting adventures in the months and years ahead. May they sense your presence and your joy in their lives, whether sharing sea stories of old or helping them create new ones in the years ahead. We ask all this in your glorious and almighty name. Amen. Now, Maritime Force Protection Unit Mayor, the party. Now, Petty Officer First Class Martinez, U.S. Coast Guard, retired, departing. 